Hey everyone, Chris here, and time for something different and absurd and innovative all at the same time. So we've gotten into Nerf rival guns recently, and uh, if you're not familiar, they're small little yellow foam balls that can shoot pretty far and pretty accurately, and they have guns that can hold 100 rounds or 200 rounds even. And so what I have here is a 3D printed hopper that can insert onto the largest capacity Nerf rival gun that they sell on the market. You can just see how wide this is. Uh, the length of this is, I guess, as wide as my body. Um, and you can see the, the size of this. Pretty amazing what people can 3D print today, what you can buy online. For size comparison, here's a standard water bottle. And so you can just see how much larger this hopper is. And so the gun that this is made for is the rival Prometheus, which is this one right here, which already holds an impressive 200 rounds within this top hopper right here. And what this does is it replaces the standard issue and this one can hold up to 1200 of these yellow balls which is a ridiculous amount you'll never have to reload uh, they the, the designer says you it's recommended to load up to 1150 that way you leave a little bit of space inside for the balls to move around so it doesn't get stuck and jammed as a result uh, but we're gonna fill it up to 1200 and see how it goes um, and I haven't done this before, so we're going to figure it out on camera together how you install this. And so the existing hopper just secures in with this front mechanism and it lifts off like that. And we didn't make a mess, which is good. Let's take these out, put these inside. So this one holds almost 270 actually. It ships with 200 and you can fill it up actually quite a, quite a bit more um, beyond that. And now we have this one here. Tucks right inside and snaps into place. And just like that, 1200. Okay, so with such a large hopper, we need ammo. And so, that's what this is. I have 17 boxes here of 80 rounds. And we're gonna fill it up. And we're gonna see together how long it takes to fill up. And you guys can keep track on the YouTube timer. I'm gonna start an old-fashioned clock and we're gonna see uh, stopwatch how long this takes to fill up this hopper and how easy or difficult it is so let's start it's got these two spring-loaded flaps that you could load um, if you have paint gun tubes preloaded with these They'll slot right in to these holes on the back, which is really nice. So I got 17 boxes here of 80, and that's 1,360, which is uh, more than this can hold, but wanted to be safe and, and make sure I didn't fall short. Now, I'm not going as fast as possible because I don't really want to make a mess and have to chase a bunch of these loose ones down if they don't fall in. But you get the idea. I think that's the biggest complaint I've read about uh, from people online is just how long it takes to load this up. We're done with one box now. And 
Um, but once you do this once, if you're playing a Nerf War, you won't have to do it again all day, unless it's you know hours and hours and hours long for whatever Nerf battle you're in. So people have started making these types of hoppers for um, all the different types of Nerf rival guns that have a hopper system today. The Nemesis, the, the Perseus, that's new. Um, but I figured, let's go with the biggest one, just because it is absurd. And see what that's like. Okay, we're done with two. The second one's faster because I ripped the hole in the right place and it fed more naturally. We're two minutes in and we've loaded up two boxes. But you see right there, I, I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this now. That box was about 15 seconds. A little bit to open. Time lapse. So you guys don't have to sit through all this. Oh, this box, this one took longer for some reason. This one did not flow as nicely. Maybe I'll make the hole big enough. some shaking and, and trying to push them towards the front there because they're starting to pile up and get in the way. Make sure the hole is big enough. Uh, I lost one. Two. Trying to go faster. There we go. Five boxes in. Five times 80, that's 400. It's already larger. It's already twice as much as the Nemesis currently holds. And there's still an unbelievable amount of space in the hopper. Fill the time. Don't know what to talk about. Curious for you guys who buy Nerf guns. What's your strategy? Do you go for something that has as much ammo as possible? Do you go for something that's lightweight? What do you like to carry? I guess it depends on what type of Nerf game you're playing. But for me, it always seems like more is better. You know, if you don't have any ammo, you're pretty much out of the game. Or you gotta, you gotta spend time picking stuff up, which is no fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
We're at 640. So halfway there. this out. Looks like it's maybe just about halfway. You can see through the little holes inside. We got these other systems that where this hopper is basically in a backpack. And it has like an air mattress blower to push the balls through a tube and feed it into a gun. And you, know, you could hold a thousand rounds or maybe even two thousand rounds depending on the size of the backpack. Um, and those get more expensive. It's, they look like a lot of fun. So maybe, maybe that would be the next. Uh, the next thing, I think there's some prototypes that are being beta tested for wider production. So maybe when those get to wider release, that'll be the next uh, next thing. I think the guy from Out of Darts is working on that one. He's got a YouTube channel. All right. Getting harder. Four, five, six, seven. So we did ten. This will be eight hundred. the other side because this one's starting to get full. I'm going to get more blocks from view on the gun. 11, 880 now. I know this is scintillating content. But I'm curious how long this takes. Even when you got them in packs of 80. Alright. Does this rest? Doesn't really quite rest. But at some point, you're gonna have to hold this more upright in order to Get some in here. Let's try this. One, two, three, four boxes left. Started with 17. So this is the 13th box.
So 800 plus 240 is 1,040. All right. You still get some more. One thousand forty plus eighty gets us to eleven hundred twenty. Twenty. This one gets us to twelve hundred. It's definitely getting full. Cool. stuff it all the way because the hopper needs some room to agitate the balls to move around to prevent jams from happening but I do want to try to fill it up to 1200 at least once just to say I did pretty heavy. I'm curious how heavy it is. That took 14 and a half minutes. Could have gone a little bit faster. Um, definitely went pretty slow at the beginning. So maybe anywhere between 12 and 14 minutes to load one of these. Uh, about a minute every hundred balls if you're running smoothly. So the next thing to do will be doing a firing test seeing whether we get any jams or not, and seeing how long it takes to unload 1,200 balls out of this hopper. Okay, so two other Nerf innovations for you. The first is this target that moves around and resets with a counter that we picked up. And you simply turn it on, and it moves back and forth. So it creates a little bit of a challenge. You can see there's zero, zero on the counter right there. And then you hit the targets and you knock them over. It's got some sound effects. And then when you hit the third one, the zero, zero goes to one and they all pick themselves back up. And so you can repeat this over and over for a set number of shots amongst players and quickly count how many times they hit the targets. So that one's pretty neat. And then the second animation is this pop-up changing tent, shower tent for when you're outdoors. So one of the things when you're playing with Nerf guns is it's a real pain to have to pick up all the darts or the rival balls when you're done. And so I thought about using one of these pop-up tents to shoot into and you can put the target inside. Obviously this doesn't work if you're trying to shoot you know, other people with, with your Nerf guns. 
But this is, this is pretty good when you combine this with the moving target, you set the moving target inside of here. And then for the most part, if as long as you don't miss the, the tent all together, it collects a, a fair number of the, the rounds that you fired off. So you, as you saw, this is one of these very small, flat, uh, circular discs when it all folds up. And then it's gonna pop up as if by magic, just like that. And then it opens up like that. And then you just roll up the door that zips down. So if you're actually using this for camping or ch as a changing tent, you'd zip this down and you'd have some privacy. Uh, but for our purposes, we want this up inside, feed it through the loop, that holds it, feed it through the other side, and it does a pretty good job. And then you set it back, put your target inside, and then you can stand uh, quite a bit of ways. I'm probably going to lay a couple of towels because you can see the edges curve up and you can get the balls rolling around there. Um, but set the target inside and have it move back and forth. All right, so we're gonna do a firing test and I've got this set up all the way down the hallway. I'll move this so you can see just how far we're going all the way down, see what type of accuracy we can get and how long it takes to fire off 1200 rival rounds. Let's restart the timer. And go. down all three of them. And then I'm waiting for them to pop back up. So we've knocked it down seven times.
plus two shots. So 29 times three, 60, 70, 87, 89 targets hit. In about four hours, four minutes and 50 seconds, obviously I paused in between after hitting down the target. So about four and a half minutes, between four and four and a half minutes to unload 1200 rounds and it is completely empty inside. So you can have yourself four minutes of fun constantly. I'll just turn this around and you can see just what a massacre of Nerf rival rounds looks like unloading 1200 in one complete burst. And there we have it, 29 shots. Uh, the towels and a little changing tent, it worked pretty good. There's a huge massive pile of rival rounds right there. And then you can see there are a lot that bounced around outside, so it doesn't get everything. Uh, but there you have it, firing off 1,200 rounds all at once. You can see what type of marksmanship I've got. Okay, so final thoughts on the God Hopper by 3D Printed Solid. Uh, you can find them online. They have an Etsy store also. They do excellent work, excellent customer service. This is expensive, so not recommended for everyone. But if you're an enthusiast and you want to hold the highest number of rounds possible without having to get into something like a separate air blower, which would be even more expensive. Um, this is a pretty good option. So 3D printed solid, excellent work online. And this thing performed like a monster. Uh, it did not jam at all, even though we put the full 1200 rounds inside. It, it kept firing, you'll see, and you saw in the video that I had to just shake the balls around uh, to get the hop uh, the conveyor track to pick up the, the balls in the hopper but even with a normal rival nemesis or Prometheus you got to do that occasionally just to move the balls around inside so if you're looking for something with 1200 round capacity this is a good way to go I will say it took me probably about 20 minutes to pick up all the balls even with uh, the the pop-up tent it would have been even worse. The balls would have been everywhere in the house without. So it did its job. Uh, next time I would probably place the, the tent on top of the towels lining the edge so that there, there isn't any uh, gap there. Uh, the drawback on, on that tent, the green tent, is it, it does fold flat into that circular disc, but it's a little bit awkward to uh to get it to fold up that way if you've used large car shades that fold similarly you'll know what i'm talking about um, but it's a little bit awkward once you get the hang of it you can get it packed away nice into that disc form again um, and then the target the moving target that moves back and forth i forgot to mention there is a setting so it's stationary so it's there's two clicks one for stationary one for moving and uh, obviously you saw that when you're, you're firing so many rounds in such a confined space that a ball ends up on the track and, and just um, prevents that moving platform to trigger. There's, a, there's a, a little button on both ends. And when you get a ball on the track, it prevents that move plastic platform from reaching all the way to the end so that it can hit that trigger to move the opposite direction so um, you know it's probably because we're using that green tent and we're, we're getting all the balls to land inside that confined space if you didn't use the green tent then you'll have a lower chance of getting a ball stuck on the track um, but you know all in all it's a good way to, to have four minutes of foam, foam flinging fun with a uh, 1200 round god hopper from 3d printed solids highly recommended thanks